Our opponent this week, Vanderbilt University, more commonly known as Vandy, because Vanderbilt's nickname should end exactly how their games do, with a Y. Vanderbilt is completely outmanned in the Southeastern Conference with no chance of ever being consistently competitive, but remaining in the league so that the SEC can at least pretend that academics are important. Proving that in college football, just like in high school, it's nice to have a nerd around to beat up on and force into doing your schoolwork. Vanderbilt has been to four bowl games in their 120 years of playing football. They have more free time at Christmas than Casey Anthony. They get fewer extra games than Michael J. Fox at an arcade, and they have less chance of outlasting the regular season than this segment does after the last two jokes. Vanderbilt's teams are known as the Commodores, or the Doors, because seemingly everybody can walk through them except for Phil Fulmer and Houston Nutt. Vanderbilt is located in Nashville, Tennessee, the home of country music because songs about your wife cheating on you and your dog dying are helpful reminders that there are better things in life than Vanderbilt football. Vandy's fans are similar to a Sasquatch. Southerners will insist that they exist even though they've never actually seen one, and Gene Chiswick probably has a dead one in his freezer. Vanderbilt is less popular in the South than anorexia. They have fewer excited followers than Charlie Weiss at a porta potty, and they earn less respect on Saturdays than Keenan Thompson. Vanderbilt is coached by James Franklin, the older brother of soft drink commercial celebrity Pitbull. Franklin eats hot dogs to stay hydrated and has the fourth largest collection of antique Mormon underwear in all of Tennessee. None of that is true, but Franklin is the Vandy coach, so it's not exactly like I'm going to ruin his reputation. Coaching Vanderbilt is like being Gary Johnson. Sure, you're smart and more likable than the guys from Alabama and Texas, but no one ever sees you on television, and there's no way you'll still be relevant in January. Here's to you, Vanderbilt. You make losing seem ordinary, ordinary seem unattainable, and Kentucky seem decent at football. You bring less to a game than a streaker, you mean less to the BCS than crowning a real national champion, and you have less to show for your work in Tennessee than the Department of Education. Don't go away mad, Vandy. Just go away. Impotent. <laughs>